10 years. What is your secret? Everyone wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad everybody wants to know. Uh, one thing that's important about what we do is that we tend to concentrate on the portfolios, the stocks that we own. So we only have about 20, 25 stocks. And what that means is we know those stocks very well. The other important thing is we buy small and mid-cap stocks. So they've got more growth potential. In the signs of a bull market, this is going to help us a lot. And it has done well. Speaking of bull market, let's do a reality check about 2014. Obviously, it's a phenomenal year. Very few people expected the year we had. What are your expectations for how stocks perform next year in terms of overall gains on the S&P? That's a good question. I'd like to know the answer <laughs> to that one. Yeah. <laughs> but, but what we really think is going to happen is that the economy continues to do well. We're still pulling out of some problems, as you well know. Uh, the important thing to keep in mind is that earnings should be continuing to increase. I think employment is going to go down, housing starts are going to go up. And remember, the consumer really drives 60, 70 percent of this economy. So if the consumer feels good, which we think he will or she will, then that will drive the economy. So we see a lot of good stocks out there, irrespective of the fact that the market's been this strong. We think there's still a lot of room for growth. Are you using the same philosophy in your equity fund that was launched a couple of months ago in terms of stock picking? Or do you have a different approach with that? No, we have the same approach. Again, we have very consistent approach with all of our investors. We've got money on the separately managed side also. We tend to hold for the long term. We tend to buy undiscovered stocks. And we tend to make sure that we know management well and know what these companies do and try to avoid the losers as much as we can. Well, let me ask you about one of your holdings, 3D, the printing company. Now, I would argue this is a stock that's been discovered this year. It's had an incredible run. There's been a lot printed about 3D technology. Does that run worry you at all? Is the best of the growth behind that company? No, that's a good question also. We have sold a little bit of it, I have to admit. But again, it's, it's a question of how much is a good thing. For us, it's a high class problem. When you have something that comes to dominate your portfolio, I think it's, it's, it's prudent to trim back a little bit. And so we've sold maybe 15% of our share or something like that. But we still hold it. And for any new clients coming, we think it offers a good long-term growth still.